of what we like to call new european entrepreneurs have a fantastic potential for the future of the european economy and for the future of an innovative european economy it's time for new ideas it's time especially for new entrepreneurship in a time of crisis the european budget which has contemporary two legs the common agriculture policy and the cohesion policy and a very small leg which is called research and innovation now please try to sit on a chair with three legs two big and one small we need to nurture the appetite for entrepreneurship proactively rather than just sit down and assume that our kids at school will one day be inspired to be entrepreneurial and to take the risks and to become innovative. First of all, we have to, to achieve a more investment by the European Union, by member states and by private sector on innovation and research. We are still far away, not, from the, not only from the, the, the United States and uh, Japan, as you say in the document, but we, we still need to, to achieve the, the 3 percent of our uh, GDP and this is part of responsibility of the, 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 the public authority. We absolutely need, uh, it's, it's the, 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 the blood system, it's the, the nervous system of the European economy, the, the, indeed strengthening the SMEs and not policies that have been, why have, are we in the crisis? Because indeed SMEs and the interests of SMEs have been badly neglected to in detriment of big companies that are the ones that have the, the commercial and industrial policies of the EU and of major member states have served the big ones to the detriment of the SMEs. Migrants are human bridges across countries and cultures and this can be a powerful force for innovation across the economy. Table. Uh, did you have the chance uh, to directly ask the questions or discuss the, the remarks with the deputies and experts? Yeah, we had we had the chance to uh, make the questions. In fact, they gave a lot of information uh, during the round table. Basically, I think we uh, shared uh, ideas very well, and uh, speeches like. Salvador uh, made in, in the room, for example, gave, gave me particularly as an entrepreneur a lot of hope that are people in the European Parliament thinking of the SMEs because in today's situation it's very difficult really for us to success and make uh, our interna internationalization process. Mm -hmm.